All right, before we get this episode started, after you watch this, if you enjoy it, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and my channel. A big thank you to you for that. Now, here's this week's episode. Friday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. We're up here in central Wisconsin, going to meet some of the RO360 crew for week number two of maple syrup weekend harvesting. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty nice day as compared to last week when we got here. It's about 45, 48 degrees. I'm just in a sweatshirt here. You can see everything is melting. All right, I'm taking a walk down the trail here. Uh, we're going to check out a few of the buckets here. I don't know if you can see them. I'm just going to randomly check a couple. And a tap came out of the tree and the sap's been running. Sap's been running down the tree all week or whenever this came out. There. So this bucket, you can see it glistening on the tree here. We lost all that sap. All right. All right, here we kind of got one facing south. Let's see what we got on this one. Oh yeah, we got some in that one. So let's uh, let's go check the the big drum here. We tap to a central line from all the trees here, coming into this 55-gallon drum. This is one of our experiments this year. And, well, we got some in there. We're going to head back through here and just check some buckets as we come across them. Just a random check of, we'll see what we end up when we start collecting it tomorrow. So, I got to get in, I got to finish inside, and uh, I think that's going to be it for today. All right, heading out for a sandwich for supper, Friday night here. Kind of going out the back way because I didn't see anything. Looking for turkeys. Taking their time. Come on. Oh, we got quite a few of them coming across the road. Come on, deer, move. There they go. Well, now we're seeing wildlife. Ooh, we just look at them. I stop and they take off. They're all feeding in the field. There they go. There, it's clearing up now. Wow, look at that group of them. A lot of them out there. While heading for the woods, a car stopped. <laughs> They're all right at the wood line. Look, they all turn around looking at me. Look at that. You interrupted our lunch. Check it out. It's snowing. Snowed overnight. It's pretty looking. Hey, good morning, John. I gotta flip the gas on. We ran out of gas. Time to switch it over. And it's still snowing this morning. Woke up to a sea of white. Sure is pretty though. Fires are lit. We have fire. All right. Time to get to work. What a pretty sight. It's snowing and we're collecting sap. Into the We're, top, uh, top of the bubble. Yeah, we are. Maybe one or two more and then we uh, take them in. All right. Move on. Oh, he's coming with another one. <laughs> well, Kevin's got one over here. Got some ice in that one, huh? Yep. A couple of them only with ice. 
That's too bad. I think there's only going to be like one or two more buckets. Oh, look at it. We overfilled it. Yeah. It's spewing out. Stick. Get it yeah. stick. Just like last week, if we overfilled the drum. We got a true 55 in here now, or more. There we go. Back to the sugar shack. The barrel is overflowing. It's 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 coming out the air holes. We've got a lot of sap. We still got the big drums. That one's got over 30 gallons in it. This one I didn't. This one's probably got to be pushing 20. We're gonna break the 98 gallon mark for sure for sap. So all right, let's get back to the sugar shack. So every week it seems like we pick up a new project to try to improve this so this week <laughs> we added this fan plugged it in rigged up the fan blowing this way put a couple little fans so we get this steam out of here a little more efficiently and it's working it's rolling out like crazy so uh, another project another redneck project that worked well we woke up to snow it's 9 20 and it's still snowing out here we uh, we just did the math on what we've got. We had the 55 gallon drum filled. It was spewing out the air holes. We filled it right to capacity. Um, John filled up our uh, boiling pans and, and uh, pot last night with about 20 gallons. And he picked up another five. So we've got 55, 75, we got 80 gallons here. We got all the buckets emptied with 80 gallons, and uh, the 55 gallon drums are still out there. One's got about 35 gallons in, the other one's got about 20 as our guess. We'll find out for sure. But with that as a guess, uh, 35 and 20, another 50, we're talking 130 gallons of sap this weekend. The stuff was running like crazy. So, um, I don't know that we're going to make it all in one weekend, 130 gallons of sap boiled down. Uh, our record was 98 gallons, working on another burn barrel, starting to cut the lid off. See, just like I said, every week we're out here for maple syrup, we come up with a new project to upgrade our system. Here's okay. your Irish coffee, John. What? What could be better, power tools and alcohol? <laughs> what could go wrong with that? <laughs> Sharp sparks. Sharp sparks. <laughs> flying around. So we had a little residue of oil in that drum. We're going to replace uh, the standing one. The standing one's gone through like five seasons, six seasons. So we uh, just got done seasoning the inside of that, burning out the residue. There we go. Seasoning the new drum for next year. Again, always something going on. We project after project every maple syrup weekend. Okay, time to empty the two 55 gallon drums that are out there. So we probably got 65 gallons um, either boiled down or currently in the three pots on the stoves. I think we're gonna we're gonna collect about 130 to 140 gallons of sap this weekend which annihilates our record of 98 gallons that we had. So, uh, we'll see what happens here. All right. So, how much is in there? Half. Half? Uh, right there. My finger's on it. So you got 20 gallons in that one. 20, 25, yeah, 20 to 25. It looks like. Then you're gonna put... There we pumping. go. Oh, yeah, it's pumping. It's pumping. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. Got to recharge the battery. We smashed the record this weekend. 145 gallons of sap collected. Unbelievable. Our old record was 98 gallons, 145 gallons of sap. 
So it's about quarter after seven. We emptied one 55 gallon drum into the cookers and we got about half of this one roughly, maybe uh, a little over half left to do tonight yet. We'll see what we end up with, with syrup for tomorrow. But yeah, smash the record. Was a good weekend. I don't even want to go look. I bet the buckets are full again out there. An amazing weekend for collecting sap. Find them on the rivets? Uh, yeah. I think we're there. We're real close. No, we got another two more. Where did you get there? I think you're there. Huh? You're at the bottom of the rivets now. Listen, can you hear the rain on the roof of the sugar shack? <laughs> Snow overnight last night and all morning long. Then a warm up to melt it all. And now rain tonight. <laughs> Wisconsin weather. You just gotta love it. about 10 to 10 and we still got both stoves going. I think we're getting down to the final uh, sap in the barrel and uh, we will have gone through two 55 gallon drums. Plus we started out with 20 in here already so the 255 is 110, the 20 is 135. John and Craig bought, brought a couple of 5 gallon buckets so I'm guessing we had about 145 gallons. 140 gallons, something like that. So, uh, the goal tonight, we're going to stay out here. We want to get obviously the barrel emptied, the 55 gallon uh, drum emptied, and into here. And hopefully, we're going to stay out here tonight until we get these pans transferred to the 20 gallon pot. That's the goal for tonight before we pull it and go in. Then, obviously, tomorrow morning, fire it up again and um, finish boiling it down and then into the house for uh, the final temperature heat up to 219 for maple syrup so so 10 to 10 and uh, this might be the last video I do tonight I mean it's just going to be a matter of transferring it and boiling it down yet so it's been a long day for sure good morning Sunday morning week two of our maple syrup operation um, what do we got for temperature this morning? A little warmer. It's about 20, oh, it looks, looks to be about 25 degrees this morning. So we were able to cook down all of the gallons of sap yesterday, about 140 gallons of sap or whatever we had. We cooked it down to one pot. And I'm coming out to the sugar shack right now. It's probably getting close to 7.30. Got my morning cup of coffee in my Rapid Outdoors 360 mug. Mm. Yep, very good. All right, let's see where we ended up. We were uh, we were out here till about one o'clock last night boiling. Like I said, we were down to the one pot. Let's take a quick peek here. We got a lot in here to to uh, boil down yet, but uh, and we're gonna get this baby fired up and uh, get cooking, and we we'll see what we end up with. Hopefully, uh, we had two gallons of uh, syrup last week. Hopefully, we end up with four gallons of syrup this week. So let's get her cooking. There we go. 7:30 Sunday morning. We got a fire going. Looked a little closer. I think we got somewhere between 16 to 18 gallons in this 20 gallon pot to boil down before we take it inside on the stove for the final heat up to maple syrup. But Sunday morning and we're started. You know, as you can see here, the residue. <laughs> we finally got the rolling boil going on this one. 807. So I'm guessing 16 to 18 gallons somewhere in there, so we got to get that boiled down. But yeah, we had a boil over. We're good. So from 
It's cooking now. But that marked the start of it. <laughs> All right, working our way down the final boil, getting to be maple syrup. We'll finish it inside on the stove in a little bit. We'll cook it down a little bit further. Oh, this, yeah, you're right. Sure, sure. Sure. Three gallons there. Or we're gonna yeah. fill a, a, about a jar and a half. So we're yeah. just just over three gallons. All right, we need a revision. I was talking all the time about 135 gallons or 140 to 45 gallons of sap. I made a miscalculation when we filled up that 55 gallon drum the second time, it wasn't completely empty. So we put our heads together and we figured out that we ended up with somewhere around 120 gallons uh, and that's on the light side, maybe 125. And we ended up with three and I'd say an eighth or three and a quarter gallons of maple syrup. So it was a successful weekend. Here, no nothing. Well guys, guess what? I saw my first turkey, Pretty. a hen, but still, first turkey. And look, could care less if that I'm driving right by. Maybe it's a pet. <laughs> there it is. Very yeah, look, I could care less that I'm driving right by. Yay, first turkey. So, all right, hey, thanks for joining us on week two of the Maple Syrup Weekend. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. Peace out. Feel free to comment below. Or if you don't want to comment in the public eye, we can also be reached at rappinoutdoors360 at gmail.com. Now, if you know somebody you think might enjoy this video series, please feel free to go ahead and share this video or this link with your friend. And as always, whether you fish or hunt, remember, practice CCR. Catch, conserve, replenish. Make sure that that resource is available for future generations. See you next time, guys.